Hi, it's Lee, and I'm here with another pickups video. Um, first one in a while. I actually had these pickups for a long time. I just didn't have the opportunity to record. Uh, I went a little old school. The very first system that I ever really got into collecting uh, was the Sega Master System. So I went to the store, and they had one game I really wanted. And uh, then I decided, you know what, I'm going to add a second one. So this is the second game I added. This is Alien Storm. A very common game on the Master System, um, but kind of an interesting, an interesting game. It's basically it's Sega's attempt to make kind of a Contra clone, and it's by all accounts not nearly as good. I haven't played it yet. Uh, my friend has played this though. Uh, my friend Scott, he did a little review of it online, and he said it was okay. Um, so I'll trust his opinion. Uh, not expensive at all. I, I believe this was fifteen dollars um, for a complete game, complete Master System game to get it for fifteen bucks. I'm never gonna say no if it's something that looks half decent. I love the concept of kind of clone games. Uh, the Master System has a bunch of them. It has Master of Darkness, which is basically Castlevania. It has this? Uh, there's a bunch of them out there. Same thing with uh, I love Mega Man clones and things like that. So I like the concept of some game developers saying, hey, I'm going to make the same game as someone else and kind of failing just a little bit at it. So Alien Storm, I'm glad to, uh, to have it. I'll, I'll give it a try. Uh, I've been meaning to plug in the Master System for a while anyway, so we'll get that in. And uh, the game I did focus on was Aerial Assault. Aerial Assault being a shooter um, on the Master System. If you look back here, nice little vertical shooter. Uh, excuse me, that's horizontal. This way is horizontal. That way is vertical. So this is horizontal. Um, this game is hard to price. Um, and the, the reason for that is that I guess there aren't that many copies online. Uh, so you'll see them as cheap as, you know, something like, in terms of Canadian dollars, as little as 60 bucks, as much as 120, something in that range. Uh, this copy was at the very low range of that. Uh, I remember thinking, wow, that's 20 bucks less than I expect to pay for it. Uh, and then I realized the reason is because there's no manual. So at the end of the day, I probably paid exactly what I would have paid for this game. Um, I don't care for manuals that much. I like to have them if I can. Uh, but this game is a game I've never seen locally. The fact that they had it was pretty cool. The fact that they had it at a reasonable price at least um, was even cooler. This is the second last game on my Master System list. I've, I've, I always have a list of games I really want for a system. Uh, this was definitely on it. Um, now, the only game that's left on that list, uh, and that's not to say I'm never going to buy another Master System game. If I see a deal, I'm picking up the deal. Or if I might have missed a game when I first made my list, I'm, I'll do that too. But this was the second last game on my list. The only game left is Power Strike 2 which is extremely expensive. So I'm realistic about it. I don't know if I'll ever own that game uh, because there are other big titles that I'm looking for. But yeah, it's still nice to knock out a fairly big one. Um, kind of kicking it old school on this one. Alien Storm, Aerial Assault, lots of A's there. Uh, some Master System love. It's been a while. Kind of pumped about this. Thanks for watching.